pretty good. Alright, I'm going to throw on another one minute game here. I'm trying to bust uh, 2100. <laughs> uh, lamp bag. Alright, I got, got some okay I am here. So he's trying to go into a Grunfeld. I'm going to like zoop retort it. And now I'm going to go into the Hedgehog. But this line is usually pretty good because you get pretty good pressure against um, C5 here. Wow. You don't see people taking it very much. Now it's queen. I don't really want to trade queens. I'd rather play in the center. And um, I feel like I saw a game recently like this. I did. It was Napomniachi. Oh my god. Same mistake here. <laughs> oh, maybe it was a game. I, I think I saw a game Napomniachi was playing, but I think he did a little better. Even still, materials equal. Rook takes him okay. Still got e4 coming. Queen c3 was a very sneaky move. And he didn't see it. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna lose on time again. Ah, rook g5? What? Yoink. Snatch it. And the difference here is that I'm actually going to flag him. This is Will Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net and I'm going to try to uh, play a little blitz here, see if I can break 2200. So, he's playing the Karo Khan. And I'm going to try a, a variation that's you know, pretty aggressive. It seems to have been pretty topical lately and at the top level with um, just trying to play on the queen side with, with like an early c4 and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and castle and, and this, this makes sense here. So I'm wondering if I take it and now c4, it seems to transpose. To, to one of the main lines. I think. Alright, so he's... Um, I don't know, I kind of want to play bishop b5 here and try to hold on to the pawns. Knight e7 is like... It's a little nuts. Bishop b5 and... Maybe I can hold the pawns and I'll have a nice knight on d4 as well. It certainly seems like it. I guess queen b8 for him here, but then I got queen d4. And in this position, I'm just thinking I have an extra pawn. I mean, it's not the safest pawn in the world, but if I can hold on to it, you know, if I can, if I can develop some pieces and hold on to it, I have nothing to worry about. So I think here, he is trying to play, um, looks like g5, but I think maybe a little tactic helped by the fact that I put rookie one, you know, developing a piece. Maybe now, maybe now I was thinking I could play f4. I guess he could still play g5, but my position seems, it seems pretty good. I mean, it seems pretty open. Maybe I can try... C4 is, no, I don't think C4 is a very good idea. I need to create counterplay with those pawns because I don't really have a good way to do it on the queen side. Maybe G5, well, no, I'm thinking queen H5, but it doesn't quite work. Maybe queen G4. Or maybe the best plan, I, I think I found... Thus far would be c4 and queen a4 to put pressure on c6. Maybe that's the weak point in his, his position is c6. Um, I mean, I'm kind of threatening to play f5 right now, but I wasn't really 
Okay, so I, I'm going to have to play, obviously indicating he wants to play um, g5. Although, it's like I'm not that impressed. What does g5 really do? I mean, it needs like g5 and then I can just chill. The pawn is on f4 is already supported. Now with c4, this is like a little ambitious plan. I could develop normally, let's say knight d2 or something like that. But here, okay, I don't think he should have taken my idea was just to, if I can open up the e-file, I'll sack a lot of pieces to do that. Or pawns. He's got a5, knight takes c4, a takes b4, knight d6. And that knight has got to be worth something. Um, any kind of attempts to distract me with c3 and c2 doesn't make any sense. I can just play queen f3, which is probably going to come in a second anyway. All right, so guess he's trying to sack the knight. Knight takes c6, or knight takes c5. Which is definitely pretty interesting. I mean, I guess queen f3? Hmm. I mean, I know the knight sack doesn't, it doesn't work. So why don't I just snatch the pawn and get, get towards the center? I know it doesn't work because I can always play knight d6. Um, or even knight takes... No, I have to take it. I have to definitely definitely take it. So he sacks it. So now the question is, do I play knight d6 first? Now or later? I think now is the answer. And now I just followed up with bishop e3. In any case, and it would seem... Bishop e3, he's got no checks. His king, yeah. Okay, so he's he's that uh, he's he's in trouble now. So I probably just take it easy. Um, oh, I almost played uh, rook b1. That would have been embarrassing. Maybe rook c1 is a better choice. Trying to set up rook takes c5, a little tactic. So I finally finally finished my development, and now I'm just up a piece and. Good attack. Rook takes c5 is a monster threat. And it looks like it'll force him to trade off that dark squared bishop. Bishop takes d4, bishop takes d4. And just probably bishop c5. I don't really know what... Uh, I mean, I've still got some time, so it's not like I'm going to flag right now. All right, I guess he's going to, I mean, I guess I could mess up here. <laughs> um, maybe queen f3 was the move in that last position. All right, so looks like he had enough. It's a pretty cool game. Opening, I kind of messed up what I was trying to do in the opening, but it ended up working out pretty good. So here I'm going to mix it up with a... Uh